U.S. Senators voiced concerns about crowding and the quality of employee housing in national parks during a hearing in Washington today. MTN's John Shearer reports that the Senators also want to know how hundreds of millions of dollars for park infrastructure will be spent. Just down this road, Yellowstone National Park is setting all kinds of visitation records and the expectation is those numbers will only grow as the summer arrives. I think it will be the biggest season in the history of the Park Service. We're going to have record years in our national parks and visitation. Will you encourage parks to continue pursuing these new systems beyond the pandemic in order to decrease overcrowding? Our ultimate goal is to provide a, a quality visitor experience and make sure that we're doing a good job in protecting resources for future generations. The Park Service is rolling out its first mobile app this summer with a feature for some parks that will tell you how many spaces are available in the next parking lot you'll come to. And there are other ideas. And one of those ideas perhaps is to encourage visitors to think about some of our lesser known parks when they look at their itineraries. My question is, how can we use your tools and your knowledge to highlight and drive visitation in some of these lesser known parks? We would be more than happy to go back to the Park Service and certainly work in a concert with your uh, committee to try to coordinate that information. I think the wonders of Big Hole and, and, uh, and Big Horn are incredibly important. And uh, I think we can direct our populace there through educational works. Parks overcrowding is getting so much attention, the committee plans to hold a separate hearing on that topic alone later this summer. Closely related to park overcrowding is substandard housing for park employees. We have made it a goal uh, within the National Park Service to eliminate poor housing that exists in terms of quality of housing. I think Yellowstone is a, a great example of where we have invested a significant amount of money over the last three years and if memory serves me right, we've replaced over 40, 000, or 40 units in that particular park. Benj says the Park Service is also reaching out to help tour companies and other park contractors who are suffering because of the pandemic by extending their contracts by another two years. Now, there were a couple of other interesting things that came out of the session. One was that you no longer have to wear a mask if you are a visitor or an employee at the park so long as you're fully vaccinated. And then there was something that Ken Burns said when he was talking about overcrowding. He mentioned an incident where he and his young daughters were trapped in a buffalo jam at the park. He told them that was the good kind of line to be in. I'm John Shearer. MTN News. Sure is. Well, the Park Service tells senators that it plans to spend $126 million on infrastructure improvements in Yellowstone National Park. Most of the money will be spent improving roads and replacing that employee housing.